Hi friends, I am starting an experiment to grow zucchini in Aero Garden Bounty Elite. This variety is called Austria. It is a container variety. So hopefully this is going to work very well for hydroponics. Let's see how this is going to work out in Aero Garden Bounty Elite. Even though it is a container variety, it is going to grow wide. So I am planning to grow only one plant in this Bounty Elite. It is very straightforward to start. I'm going to place the seed straight into the pod. So just to talk some basic things about the seed. So the germ is going to come from this side. So I'm going to put it down. That's it. In case this seed couldn't survive, I'm going to replace the seed, but I'm going to keep only one seed at a time. Oh, I'm going to put sticker, but I don't have stickers. So I'm going to use aluminum foil. This is in fact the used one. I'm just reusing the aluminum foil that I used in the past. It's not only economical, we can even reuse if it is in good shape. That's it. So simple and straightforward to start this garden. Let's see how this is going to work out. As always, I will add water, but I will not add the nutrition right away. I will start adding nutrition once I see the seedling and I will use Aero Garden nutrients throughout this growth cycle. And I will begin with the recommended dosage, which is 12 ml at every feeding cycle. If needed, I may bump up the nutrition, but we will talk when time comes. This garden is all set and good to go. It's been seven days. Looks like the seed is germinated. I see it is coming out of the sponge. So I'm pretty sure it is germinated. Now that the seed is germinated, I will start adding the nutrition. I will use Aero Garden nutrients throughout this growth cycle and I will use it as recommended which is 12 ml for every feeding cycle. It's day 8 as I was guessing the seed sprouted very well. Look at the sprout. It's coming very nice. I'm very happy that it germinated pretty fast and it is coming nice. It's day 13. The seedling is coming very nice. It started developing the real leaf. That's a good start. It's day 22. The plant is looking very healthy and it is coming nice. It started developing multiple leaves. Surprisingly, I see a flower board. It is very small. Hopefully, we can see it in the video. But this is really good news. Look at this. This is pretty visible now. It is still like too small, but it is visible. This is really surprising. I didn't expect that it will show flower buds at this early stage. Wow, what a fantastic growth. It's day 29. Look at this plant. It is growing very well, but really sticking to the ground. It is less than one inch tall. That is really nice. I never saw a zucchini variety maintaining this low profile. I am really amazed with it. And it started producing the flowers. This is really nice. This is the female flower and I see a bunch of male flowers. That is really amazing. Look at this. There are many male flowers and one female flower. That's really nice beginning. And a good progress on just day 29. It's day 36. The plant is showing a significant difference day by day. Look at this growth. It is still staying very short but it is spreading out very well. I am very happy with this kind of growth in hydroponics and look at this. There is a flower coming up and it is a female flower. I can't be excited so much because I don't see any male flowers coming up along with it. This needs pollination otherwise it is not going to survive. But all the male flowers are very small, very young. So I am sure they are not going to show up by the time this flower bloom. So I can't be excited at all. But at least this is showing a, a female flower that's good part. But nothing to be worried about losing it because I see one more female flower coming up here from the very center. Hopefully I will have some male flowers by the time this female flower show up. It's day 37. The first flower did bloom today, but it has no use because there are no male flowers on the plant. But nothing to be worried about. I see two more female flowers coming up along with a few male flowers. 
So I'm looking forward to the next set of flowers. It's day 39. The first flower is closing up. Anyway, it has no use because I did not pollinate. I see one male flower almost close to bloom. I'm sure it is going to bloom tomorrow, but it has no use because there is no female flower this time. But on the good side, this plant is coming up with one female flower and one male flower here. Hopefully these two will bloom at the same time and I will get a chance to pollinate. In case this male flower did it work, I see a couple of male flowers ready here. So hopefully one of these male flowers will work when this female flower bloom. Let's see. It's day 44. The plant is doing good and producing lots of flowers. But unfortunately they are not coming together. Now I see one male flower, the female flower still haven't bloomed. Looks like there is a problem here, looks like the tip is burning out. I see the same pattern with the other female flower here as well. So looks like something is going on. I did some research but I couldn't find any useful details. Here is the other female flower, this one also looking like having some tip burn. So I don't know exactly what is going on and I couldn't find any useful material online. Either way, what I'm going to do is I'll simply change the water and start over with a fresh water and a nutrition. If there is any pH balance that gets reset. Surprisingly, this leaf is also burning out. So definitely something going on with this plant. Hopefully changing the water is going to help. I'm going to change the water right away. Let me also show you the root system as I'm opening it anyway. Look at this. I don't see any issues with the root system or the water. It all looks cool, but we can't say pH imbalances just by looking at the water. We need to measure it. Since I'm using aerogode nutrients, I don't think there is any pH balance issues, but anyway, I'm going to change the water. Hopefully that's going to settle any problems. It's day 45. It is actually going south. I don't see any good signs. Look at these female flower birds. The tips are browning and they are not opening up at all. And look at these male flowers. They are not stopping at all. They are coming very healthy. They are blooming, they are drying. And look at these new flowers. This one is like this for at least two days. It's just stuck there. I don't know if it is going to bloom. Anyway, I just got some advice that we can actually harvest the male flowers, keep it in the refrigerator and save it for 2-3 to three days. Save the pollen for 2-3 to three days. Let's see if this female flower show up in next 2 days so that I can collect the pollen from this flower and uh, use it here. So I'm going to cut this flower and uh, save it. I'm going to put it in a Ziploc bag and uh, leave it in the refrigerator. It's day 49. The growth of this plant is very disappointing. The female flowers are just drying up. They didn't even bloom. Look at this. They just dried up. And here is another female flower. Surprisingly, this is looking okay, but this never really bloomed. And I never really pollinated. So this is not going to work. It will give up eventually. Funny thing is, the male flowers are coming really nice. They don't see any issues. And some of the leaves also dried up. At least the hope is the new growth is coming very nice. I still see a bunch of female flowers. So I'm still hopeful on this plant. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all these female flowers and all these drying up leaves. And also some of the older leaves. They are drying up very badly. So I'm going to remove all this disappointing or unhealthy growth and see what happens next. It's day 52. I removed all the dead flower boards and a couple of older and aged out leaves. Now I am looking forward to the second life of this plant. I see a couple of female flower boards showing up. Hopefully these flower boards are going to survive. Hopefully they don't get that uh, tip burns again. At least the growth is looking very healthy. Look at these new leaves. This is not what I saw in the past. The new leaves were also burning out, but these leaves are looking healthy and looks a little bit promising. Surprisingly, I see this zucchini is surviving. I don't know how it is surviving. Look at the tip. It actually burned out and I never really pollinated it. 
If this survives, that's a big shock and surprise to me. Anyway, if it survives, that's a good news. But I don't have any hopes on it. But I'm very hopeful on these new flower birds that are coming up. It never stopped producing the male flowers. They are surviving, they are blooming, they are drying. So everything going very well with the male flowers, which is what I don't want. I really want female flowers to survive. But at least this is what keeping me on the hopes. It's day 57. The plant is doing excellent. I'm finally seeing a couple of female flowers growing healthy. Look at these female flowers. This flower is very close to bloom. I also see some male flowers right next to it. They are also close to bloom. I'm finally seeing this zucchini is giving up. So I'm going to remove this zucchini. I don't want this plant to waste any energy. It's day 59. I'm still seeing same pattern. This flower did not open up. And uh, it started drying up already. So I'm going to force it. I'm going to open it and uh, do the pollination. I'm not sure it is going to work, but I'm going to do my best. All right, I opened it. This plant doesn't have any male flowers at the moment, but I saved a flower. This is uh, three days ago. I don't know if it is still going to work, but I'm going to take this flower and uh, pollinate it. Here it is. Now I'm going to do the pollination. If it works, that's really wonderful. If not, that is still fine. This plant has so many flowers coming up, so I'm hoping at least some of them will turn out to be good. All right, this zucchini is also showing good progress before even pollination. And look at this another flower. I still see same pattern. The tip is burning out. I don't know what is the deal here. Anyway, if it doesn't open, I'm going to repeat the same process. I see a few male flowers coming up. So hopefully this is going to work out at some point. It's day 62. I don't think the pollination worked. This zucchini is not showing any good signs. Look at this. It started uh, getting weak and uh, drying up. And I also see it is pretty soft here at the tip. So look. Yeah, you can see here, it already spoiled. So I'm going to remove this zucchini here. And the other female flower is also doing really bad. Look at this. This is not going to bloom at all for sure. And here is another female flower. The tip is burning here as well. But there is some good news as well. Look at these female flowers. They are looking very healthy and looks like they are going to bloom that's really nice i just got a male flower on this plant and i collected it and put it in the refrigerator i'm hoping these flowers will open up tomorrow and i will be able to pollinate these flowers okay not a good growth so far but i am still hopeful on this plant it's day 72 for the very first time, I am seeing both male and female flowers at the same time on this plant. Look at this. This is a male flower. It opened up very well. And here is a female flower. It also opened up. So this is the first time I am seeing both flowers successfully opened up at the same time. So I am going to pollinate these flowers and see if it is going to work out. I am almost ready to pull out this plant. Somehow I am just lazy and I didn't do it that gave me a good result let's see i don't know if it is really a good result i can't say it for sure i don't have any hopes on this plant but let's see at least i got a chance to try it i just noticed one more female flower here this one didn't open on its own but it was struggling to open so i opened it forcefully and i did the pollination here as well I used the same male flower and pollinated both this flower as well as the other female flower here. Let's see if any of these will survive. I also did a bunch of cleanup. As I was ready to pull out this plant, I neglected it completely. But 
Now that I got a little bit of hope, I did a bunch of cleanup here. I removed all the leaves that were aging out and almost dying. And I also removed a bunch of baby zucchinis that were stunted. Look at all these baby zucchinis. So hopefully I will get at least one zucchini from this plant to pay off my patience. And these are all the leaves I removed. These were all old and aged out leaves, so I removed them. It is day 77. From the two flowers that I pollinated, the first one is already giving up. No hope on this, it is getting spoiled. The other zucchini is giving me little bit of hope. It is showing healthy signs as of now. I am not sure if it is going to survive. I am not sure if the pollination really worked on this zucchini, but let's see. Now I am going to remove all these unhealthy zucchinis or stunted zucchinis from this plant. I got another nice female zucchini here, but I didn't have any male flower, so I didn't pollinate it. So there is no hope on this as well. I am going to remove this one as well. Basically, I am going to remove everything except this one. Let's see if that is going to survive. It's day 87. The zucchini didn't work. It didn't survive. Look at this. Looks like the pollination didn't work. I am still not giving up on this plant yet. It is looking healthy and uh, I see a couple of flowers coming up. So I am going to still wait and uh, see. Surprisingly, all the flowers I see here are the female flowers. I see zucchini on every flower. I don't see any male flowers here, but I see one male flower here. I don't think this will be useful in any way. So all these female flowers are not going to be useful because there won't be any male flowers to pollinate but I am still going to wait. It's day 109. I am really bored of this plant and I am so tired of this plant as well. It is doing really good. Look at all these female flower birds. It is producing lots of female flower birds and rarely some male flower birds. Unfortunately, they are not coming together at any point of time. So all these flowers are just being wasted. With that, I'm going to pull out the plant. In fact, I already pulled out the plant. I'm going to put it in my backyard and see if it survives. But uh, I'm finally done with the failed experiment. All right. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.